Hello friends, in this problem a triangle is given and this triangle is ABC. Now the side length is also given that is AB is equal to 3 unit and BC is equal to 4 unit. There is a square inside this triangle and this square is NMPO. We have to find the side length of this square. I will use idea of similarity to solve this problem. So let us see how we can solve this problem. Now since this is a square, all the four sides will be equal. Let us call this side length is x. So other sides will also be equal to x and this angle will be 90 degree because of the square. So all angles are 90 degree. Now let us say this angle is alpha that is angle OCP, this angle is alpha and this angle is beta and what will be this angle? This angle will be 90 degree because there is a line on any line sum of angle is equal to 180 degree. So this means this angle plus this angle is 180 degree, this is already 90, this means this angle is 90 degree. Now if this is 90, then if I see this triangle, sum of all the angles will be 180 degree, this is already 90. This means sum of this plus this equals to 90 degree. This means alpha plus beta equals to 90 degree. Now this angle is 90, then what will be this angle? This angle plus this angle will be 90 degree because this is 90, then this angle has to be alpha because alpha plus beta equals to 90 degree. Now similarly, what will be this angle? This is 90, this means sum of this plus this is 90 this means this is equals to beta. Now what will be this angle? This is 90, this means sum of this plus this equals to 90, this means this angle will be alpha. Now what about this angle? This will be beta, same idea, this is 90, so this plus this has to be 90, this is alpha, this means this is equals to beta. So now I know all the angles, now I will use idea of similarity to solve this problem. Now let us consider triangle ABC that is the bigger triangle and triangle ANM that is this triangle. Now in these two triangles, this angle is alpha, this angle is alpha, this angle is 90, this angle is 90 and this beta angle is common. So this is part of this triangle as well as this angle is part of this triangle. So beta angle is common. So now I can say Angle AMN, angle AMN is equals to ACB, that is ACB, this is equals to alpha. Angle ABC, that is angle ABC equals to ANM, this is equals to 90. And angle MAN, that is this angle, equals to angle BAC, that is common angle. So these two triangles are similar. So I can say ABC is similar to triangle a and M. Now if these two triangles are similar, we can write proportions. That is AN, this divided by AB equals to NM divided by BC and this is equals to AM divided by AC. That is this is hypotenuse and this is also hypotenuse. Now different lengths are given. So this is AN by AB, AB is basically equals to 3, so this becomes AN by 3. NM by BC, BC is 4, so this becomes NM is X, so this becomes X by 4. AM by AC, so this is AM by AC, AC is 5, this you can prove. Because in a right angle triangle, hypotenuse a square equals to this a square plus this a square. That is AB a square plus BC a square equals to AC a square. So 3 a square is 9 and 4 a square is 16. So 16 plus 9 is 25. So AC a square is 25. This means AC equals to 5. So I can plug this value here. So this is the relationship I have. Now if you consider this two, AN is equals to, if I multiply this, cross multiply, so this becomes 3x by 4. So now I know AN which is equals to 3x by 4. 
So let us call this is equation 1. So now I know a n in terms of x and this is already in terms of x. If somehow I can calculate this in terms of x, then I can add all these distances in terms of x and equate it to 5 and from there I can find the value of x. So let us use this idea to solve this problem. Now I will consider this triangle ABC and this triangle that is POC because I need this distance in terms of x. Now this angle is alpha and this is common. So angle PCO that is this angle and in triangle ACB this angle is alpha. So this angle is basically common. Now this angle is 90 and this angle is also 90 that is ABC so this angle and POC that is this angle and the, if two angles are equal the third angle will also be equal. You can see this angle is OPC this angle is beta and this is BAC this angle is also beta. So these two angles are also equal. So now these two triangles are similar that is ABC triangle the bigger triangle and POC these two triangles are similar. Now if these two triangles are similar I can again write rules of ratio that is AB divided by PO equals to BC divided by OC so this is BC and this divided by OC. Now I know AB equals to 3. So this I can plug and PO is equals to X and BC is equals to 4 and OC we have to find OC. So 4 divided by OC. So from here I can write OC in terms of X that is 4 by 3X. So now I know AN in terms of X and I know OC in terms of X. So I can plug in AC. So now let us see AC is equals to 5 unit we know but AC we can also write a n plus n o plus o c. So this is equals to a c and from equation 1 a n is equals to 3 x by 4 and n o is equals to x and o c equals to 4 x by 3 from this equation that is equation 2 and this all equals to 5. So if you sum this if you take LCM this will be 12 and in the numerator this will be 37 x this is equals to 5. So from here I can calculate x. So 12 into 5 divided by 37 that is 60 by 37. So this is the side length of this uh, square. You can solve this problem using trigonometry also. In one of the video I have solved using trigonometry to this problem. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy please share with your friends, like on my channel and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.